Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate you guys coming by the channel to spend some time with me and watch the video. Always really appreciate that. And guys, today I'm gonna to show you what I consider probably one of the top three most underrated bass fishing lures in the last 15 years of any bass fishing lure on the market. I don't understand it either because this thing is such a fish catcher, especially this time of year. We're gonna go over it today's video, gonna give you guys some tips and advice on how to fish it. And I think it definitely add up to some good success for you guys, uh, specifically in the month of August and September. I'm um, also guys, I just wanted to respond to one quick question. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to download all of the information on our Fish the Moment lake map breakdowns that I build for Fish the Moment. Um, if you guys are interested in getting some of these maps, I'll include my lake map or the lake map breakdown to fishthemoment.com in the description of this video. But anyway, guys, on these maps, um, just to explain briefly here, we give 40 GPS waypoints in each map. You can down and we give uh, we give detailed instructions on how to download them straight to your GPS unit. And then once they're there, there's tips and advice on how to fish every single spot, how to approach it that you can duplicate around other areas of the lake. So I just want to let you guys know it. And again, I'll put that link in the description. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> okay, guys, let's get into this right off the bat and I'll explain it. The crankbait, this is a crankbait and it's the Griffin series by Megabass here. This is the original one right here, the MRX Griffin, and they've actually made some improvements to it. And this is the new version that they came out with last year here. And there's a lot of different models of the Griffin. Um, they're all the same. It's a finesse crankbait. It's a little over an inch long, and they've got several different models with different lip uh, sizes on it as far as to depth attainment. And also guys, I'll link this in my Tackle Warehouse link in the description if you guys wanna pick up a few of these. But anyway, guys, this is without a doubt my number one crankbait uh, for fishing a diversity of cover in the months of August and September. I don't use it much any other time of the year. In fact, um, probably 98% of the time that I have caught fish and used them with the Griffin here has been in the months of August and September. I don't know what it is about it other than the size, but it is a fish catching bait, you know, this time of year when the fishing's really tough. Now, the main thing about the characteristic on this is there's a couple different elements to it. First of all, the profile and the size. The profile and the size, it's a short crankbait. It's a finesse crankbait, but it's also got some width across it. So it displaces more water than what you would think with a small crankbait like this. A lot of other crankbaits, they're this small, they're maybe a little bit narrower and they attract a lot of small fish, but the profile of the Griffin line here being fatter like that, along with short, it just attracts a better quality fish. But the reason that I like this more than anything else during the, well, actually two things, the two reasons I really like it during August and September is number one, the size. Bass always prefer fish or feeding on smaller bait in September, and, or excuse me, August, or excuse me, August and September, they always prefer smaller bait. And the second, the lip design and the body design on the Griffin, this thing deflects off of wood cover better than a square bill. You can take this thing, these Griffins, and if there's a lay down tree in the water, you can throw this thing right in the middle of that lay down tree and it will deflect off of every limb in there. It's like it kicks off to the side, it digs down, kicks off to another side. You can't, you can't hardly ever get them hung up. There's just something about the way the, way the bait is designed. I am not a bait design expert, so I don't know the, the exact dimensions and specs that cause it to do that. All I know is when I throw it in and around heavy cover, it deflects off that heavy cover at high speeds better than you know square bill crankbait. And that is the whole key to catching bass in the months of August and September, is you have to deflect your crankbaits at a high speed off of objects, whether it be rock or wood. So for me, what I look for when I'm fishing the Griffin, my number one deal with it by far is I look for off-colored water and rock. So I, I try to find water visibility that is like between, you know, one to two foot in clarity is perfect. And I throw it around any type of, of rock and shallow off-colored water. Riprap banks are great. For example, I've done really good on these things like at Lake Dardanelle in Arkansas fishing riprap with them. They just eat them up down there. And, um, uh, rocky banks, 45 degree angle banks, <clears throat> even parallel in the bluff bank if you got some dirty water. And then the second with that is cranking it around any wood structure. You know, stumps, lay down trees, throwing it up next to a boat dock, usually fishing it on 12 to 15 pound test Seaguar and Vizex 4 carbon line. 
cast pretty good with like a six foot 10 inch, 10 inch bait cast rod. And most of the time, depending upon the lip that you have on them, you're gonna be able to target that. They've got a deeper lip version and a shallower lip version, and I'll link all, all the different lip models in, the, in my link in the description here. But you're gonna be able to target sort of that three to maybe 10 foot zone, depending upon the model of lip that you have and the, the line test. But the main thing, guys, I just wanted to clue you in on it. The Mega Bass Griffin, a lot of you guys say, oh, Randy, just another Mega Bass commercial. That's because these things are freaking awesome, guys. Mega Bass makes the, the freaking best hard baits of any company in the world. They are fish catching baits. The attention to detail on the things are second to none. The components in the bait, as far as the tungsten bearings, the split rings, the hook, everything out there, it's, it's the superior components. And that's why you hear me talk about them a lot is because they are just freaking awesome fish catchers. So anyway, guys, this time of year, bass fishing, it's the toughest month we're getting, in, getting ready to get into. September is by far the toughest month of bass fishing that you're gonna have. And you're gonna do a lot better if you downsize your lures. Go to small crankbaits like the Griffin, you know, small square bills, little small spinner baits, four inch worms. You're gonna catch a lot more and you'll still catch quality fish on a smaller bait. But anyway, guys, just pick you up one or two there at Tackle Warehouse. Give it a try. Let me know. I think you guys will be one of your favorite leaders in your box moving forward there. So hope it helps out, guys. We'll talk later.